This tutorial shows how to code a Talent Open Studio job to last. By last, I mean creating a job that will run in production for a long time and that requires only configuration rather than coding changes. I'll also show a technique for calling environment-specific actions to help streamline development. This job uses four components to read a set of properties from an input file, and it works in conjunction with a context group. The context group defines several variables for directories and files. There's a run mode and there's a properties file name. And there are definitions for each of four environments, including the default environment here. The job works in conjunction with this properties file. This one is specifying its own data dir, and it is using comments, which help document the configuration, and it's accepting the values that are put into the context group. So in this case, um, this properties file is a very convenient way of working with Talent Open Studio. The technique's not exclusive to Talent Open Studio. For example, Pervasive Data Integrator, they have a macrodefs file that will contain a large amount of configuration info for jobs. And I've been in consulting jobs where there have been uh, large shell scripts that are called in common batch processing fashion that are long lists of variable setting code. Well this one will merge a set of these variables in with this job here. Now when I run it, I'll run it with the default mode here so we'll see that the run mode is dev and it's doing something in dev mode. Now if I take that properties file, let's uncomment this here. I'll put test Now you see that it's calling some test server code. And the way you toggle between the two files in an operational setting, say a cron job, is there's a dash dash context param value that will let you slip into different properties file variable. So for example, you could have properties files for dev and test and prod. I'm going to restore the setting. Now another thing I'd like to do with the jobs is also to sometimes call different actions depending on which environment I'm in. Say for example you're in development and you've got a lot of file handling loops and error codes to check for. Um, there's no reason that you have to insert records just to back them out later or to call a time-consuming web service. You can skip that action and continue on with your jobs cleanup. Um, or you can call variations as I'm doing in this uh, setting here. So for example, I can pull up the dev configuration and run it. And note it's not overridden in my properties file and you can see dev mode. And similarly, if I wanted to actually run a test maybe against a long running web service, I can make that same change. The way that you configure the environment specific setting is that there's a run if on each of these and the run if is consulting an environment variable. Uh, in this case it's run mode and be sure to use equals ignore case. Um, the equal operator in Java is testing for object equality which is not what you want. Getting back to the properties files, you can take a properties file from a number of different sources. I always prefer to use a flat file because they're always around. Um, you could use a database, but sometimes in the flat file there are email addresses for error notification. And one of the big failures you could have in your job is a, is a relational database. So I prefer to keep things a little bit lighter. Uh, that value is parameterized and it feeds into a T context load. T context load is a two element schema, key and value, and I've duplicated the same schema in my T file input delimited. The T file input delimited is, is breaking on this um, equal sign for a field separator. I also like to add in a T context dump, which is going to print out the entire context, uh, overridden values and ones provided by the context group, and that will go to a T log row. It could go elsewhere, but this, this, these four components are what I would typically put in a Talent Open Studio job. 
So with Talent Open Studio, there's a way to build your job and development in such a way that doesn't have to do time-consuming uh, web services calls or to, to create a bunch of records that you would have to back out later. Um, pair that with a flexible properties file uh, mechanism and you'll have a job that can be run in a lot of different places without having any code changes, which will greatly improve the, the quality of what it is you're putting out there. Okay.